What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 18. Value plays. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top value plays, which are mid-range salary players who I think got some pretty good upside this week. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week 18. Let's take a look at the quarterback position. So at the quarterback position, I've got a value play for you. I like Justin Fields from the Chicago Bears playing the Minnesota Vikings, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Now, Justin Fields has only averaged 12.1 fantasy points per game on the season, but he's getting an average of six rush attempts per game. So I like that rushing floor in a great matchup, and he's projected at 18.1 fantasy points here in week 18. He's only 5,400 DraftKings salary, and he's 1,700 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 44.5 points scored in this game, with the Chicago Bears trailing by 3.5. Justin Fields scored 18 fantasy points in the last game that he played. He had 7 rush attempts in that game. Now, he practiced in full on Wednesday, so he is good to go. And I think he's going to have a great game here at a low price tag. So I like Justin Fields here versus the Minnesota Vikings. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. I like Deonta Foreman from the Tennessee Titans playing the Houston Texans, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Deonta Foreman has averaged 11.8 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 14 rush attempts per game and 1.1 pass target per game but he got 26 rush attempts last game and scored 22 fantasy points. So he's getting a lot of volume. He's gonna be about 8% owned, projected at 10.9 uh, fantasy points, but I think he can score 15 fantasy points or more in this matchup. And he's only 5,700 DraftKings salary and 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 43 points scored in this game with the Tennessee Titans favored by 10. Now, Deontay Foreman, uh, Dante Foreman has scored 22, 8, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games off of 26, 9, and 22 rush attempts. Also, three pass targets in that last one. So, 25 touches, 9, and 26 touches for the last three games. That's pretty good volume. I think he's got a good chance to get 20-plus touches in this game. And this could be a running game script as the Tennessee Titans take the lead over the Houston Texans. It's a fantastic matchup. Another low price tag play who's got some big upside. So I like Deonta Foreman here versus the Houston Texans. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet 
that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. I like Marquez Callaway from the New Orleans Saints playing the Atlanta Falcons, who have the sixth worst defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Marquez Callaway has averaged 9.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.2 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 6% owned, projected at 9.5 fantasy points here in week 18. He's 5,000 DraftKings salary, 900 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 40 points scored in this game, with the Saints favored by 4.5. So Marquez Callaway has scored 16, 9, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games off of 10, 4, and 9 pass targets. So he's becoming the number one wide receiver, the number one target on the team. I think that will continue into this week, and he's got a fantastic matchup. So I like Marquez Callaway here versus the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I like Cole Komet from the Chicago Bears playing the Minnesota Vikings, who have the second most, who have the second worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Cole Komet has averaged seven fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.5 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 84% of the snaps. He's going to be about 12% owned because he's only 3,400 DraftKings salary, 1,500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 44.5 points scored in this game with the Chicago Bears trailing by 3.5. Now, Cole Komet has scored 6, 9, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games off of 5, 5, and 9 pass targets. So... Pretty good volume here for such a low price tag. And he's got some good upside. So I like Cole Komet here versus the Minnesota Vikings. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.